I'm back. I guess I never really left. No one really knows that I took a month off of YouTube, but hi. And you know what? Notion decided to make a bunch of really nice updates the second I walked out the door. First and foremost, they did this. What? So for those of you that are unaware, there is a new side peak feature that is rolling out for Notion. It is slowly going to phase into the majority of the user's accounts. And essentially when you're on a database and you click on something, usually what would happen is that you would just have this center peak view is now what they're calling it. And then you'd have the ability to scroll through like this. And when you click on this now, it will auto give you the option for side peak. So when I click on this, I can change it individually when I'm using it by changing it to center peak or full page, as this is an option many people wanted to just immediately click into something like that. But now in order to make it happen by default, what we can do is go to this right here, edit view default, and then this is going to change it for the default for the specific database type. So if you find yourself interacting with a certain database in a certain way, you can keep it as the center peak, you can make it a full page one, or you can go to the side peak, which is the current default for my list type. So I think it's important to figure out what makes sense for you and your needs. So when I go to something like my YouTube content calendar, I actually think I would prefer to have if I click on this, it's gonna to default to the center peak. I wanna edit this and make it so that by default, I actually go to full page. So if I click on this, then I would actually go into the content itself. At any point, I can change that by then going to the three dots, going to layout, open pages in, and then change it to whatever you want. And just to clarify, changing it here will change the default for that specific database and not every single calendar or every single database type that you're editing it for. Having a side peek for something like this could be useful for going through and seeing the calendar and the notes for it at the same time. So it's all about finding what works for you. But Obsidian be danged and craft as well. This is a nice little thing they got going on here. I'm not gonna lie. Now we all know that columns are kind of annoying to make. You have to do something like this, make a column one and two or whatever the heck you wanna have side by side and then drag like this. But now what you can do is you can just do a bunch of different lines. And then after you highlight whatever blocks you have, you go to the six dots, press turn into, and then click columns. And that'll make the columns for everything that you highlighted. And you can also do a bunch of shorthand commands now where you can do slash col, and then you can choose between two to five columns. If I do col two, or three or four or five, then press enter. That'll make that amount of columns here. As you can see, I'm adding things quickly and easily there. Also, according to Notion, now the mobile app doesn't suck. I mean, they say this all the time, but in all seriousness, beforehand, it would load much slower. And on the right, you also see that there is a home view so that you're able to easily go back to a center place, which would be this, and then you could go and interact with your entire Notion workspace on your phone. If you like this video and want to see how to improve your Notion even more, just click on this video. Just click on it.